The Transpel Express route is currently being upgraded and the line between Murfield and Leeds is closed for engineer work. The question is though, when are Transpel Express services being diverted by her? Well this video will explain it because today we're visiting Station 3 Leeds, where I'm currently at, and Wakefield Kirkgate. So I'm heading into the station now to find my train to the first station. So I'm now standing on platform 17A at Leeds Railway Station or Leeds City Railway Station. I will be leaving Leeds shortly on the 1232 Northern service to take us to Woodersford, which is our first railway station. We shall see these Transpel Express diverts passing through. So yes, the lovely class 150 slash 2 DME 150204 will take us to Wuddersford. Customers requested to remain vigilant. If you see anything suspicious, please report it to a member of staff or the British Transport Police. It is the Northern service to Sheffield. The next stop is Wuddersford. So you find me at the first station we shall be filled with the trains at and also the Transpel Express diverts through Woodersford Railway Station. It does have two platforms and they are staggered indeed. And it is a lovely area to fill trains at here. You do feel like you're in the woodlands but honestly you're actually just in a little village of Woodersford and Rothwell. Woodersford Railway Station opened very early, it actually opened in 1840 by the North Midlands Railway, which was a railway line built from Leeds to Derby. And my advice if you want to film at this railway station is, stay on platform 2 so you can see everything passing through. Platform 1 is a very tight corner and if you go on the other side, You'll see trains coming, blink, and you'll miss them. So we shall be leaving on the 1341 Northern service to take us to our next station, Normanton. Now, I have seen photos of this railway station, and honestly, my personal opinion, I don't like the station. As a fact, that's irrelevant. But we're going to check it out anyway, see how it is for filming trains at. Now, the next station is actually Castleford, but I'm actually going to be boarding at the back of the train because the train has to reverse at Castleford before it gets to Normanton. So it should be right now, pick me up and take us down the line to the next station. don't remember that station building being here at Castleford but we only got a three minute turn around here so we're going to head back on the train now and head to Normanton. So 
So this station right behind me here, I've never ever been to this railway station before till today. This is Normanton. And honestly, having a scout around already, I absolutely do not like this station, that's personal opinion. The fact is, the station is not built for the enthusiasts. However though, this station is actually a staggered island platform. So platform one's just right behind me here, but we'll just go under this footbridge right here, and just walk this in direction. Platform two is literally just over there. And that's platform two. Just crazy this station. Difficult to film, but I have found a decent spot that I think we get away filming at this railway station. This is a penalty fare station. If you cannot produce the balance, So I have found a spot that's very interesting to film trains out of Norman to railway station. It's on the north end of platform one looking towards Leeds. And I've turned the camera this way, and you can just see the view here right behind me right now. And it's actually not a bad view to be honest. You've got the line going towards Wakefield on the far right, and you also got the line heading towards Leeds and Castleford on the left. So I think this is the spot that you can literally fill the trains at at Normanton Railway Station. What I've found about this railway station is, as an enthusiast, and this is my opinion, you're just running around this station like a headless chicken. Go from platform two to platform one, then back to platform two, then back to platform one, and so forth. And honestly, you're just like running around like a headless chicken, trying to capture the trades on camera, or camcorder. I will go into the history of this railway station actually, because this railway station is another North Midlands railway station. And this one opened on the 30th of June, 1840. So our next train is the 1457 Northern service which will take us to Wakefield Kirk Gate. That should be arriving now to take us out of Normanton and head to the next station. So we now made it to the first station in Wakefield, Wakefield Kirkgate, because this opened before Wakefield Westgate opened, which I'll explain more in the history later on. It is a huge station, but don't let that fool you because it does have London services stopping here with Grand Central. Northern trains also stop here as well, and it has three platforms. But honestly, it is also a good location to fill trains at here at Wakefield Kirkgate. And this is the last station we're going to get the Transpel Express diverts through because after that they joined the trans route at Ravensforth from here. So there's two stations in Wakefield, Wakefield Kirkgate where I'm currently at and Wakefield Westgate. Wakefield Westgate opened in 1856. This station opened on the 5th of October 1840 by the Manchester and Leeds Railway. Now they started Alden Road in Manchester and went to a junction near Normanton called Goose Hill Junction and they carried up the line by Woodersford to get to Leeds that way.
Also in 2009, Wakefield was dubbed as the worst medium-large station in the country, in the UK. And the crime here was actually skyrocketing, it was so high. However though, that's all changed in 2015 because it went under a massive renovation to what you see today. And it does look lovely because I have been to Wakefield Kirkgate before the renovation and it did look like a really ugly duckling. But now it looks better than it was before. So I'm going to go back towards Leeds by Wakefield Westgate. I'm going to wait for the 1606 Northern service to take me to Wakefield Westgate, get off there, and then I'll get an LDR cross-country service back to Leeds that way. We'll do a full circle loop from Leeds to Leeds. So we're now at Wakefield Westgate Station. I have found there is an Intercity 225 set to arrive here, but it's not till five o'clock, which is good because I've got time in Leeds anyway. So I'm gonna hang around Leeds for a bit, get this Class 91 arriving, board it, and then head up the East Coast Main Line to Leeds. So we now made it back to Leeds Station, completing a loop around Leeds. And that Class 91 right behind me brought me in from Wakeful Westgate. And I've had fond memories of that Class 91, because that Class 91 right there is the Bay First Class 91 I ever rode on back in 2012 during the big trip. 91-124. And honestly, we have reunited in Leeds because my journey, my Bay First journey was Leeds to London King's Cross. But we got three stations filled today. We did get Class 185s, Class 68s and Class 802s. And even Normanton Station, a station I didn't like, actually found a good spot on Normanton, which I was quite surprised with, to be honest. I wanted to do it to see my opinion of the station and my opinion of that station was really good. I'm gonna leave a video right here. Please do click that. I have been Simon Trains. Thank you for watching, stay safe, I'll see you on the rails down the line in the future.